So we have understood about the nested loops because nested loops play a very key role. It depends on the use case we can use it. Nested conditions, instead of nested conditions, we can rely on if, elif, else. That's very useful. You can have any number of elif blocks. But when you come from nested loops, you can write for inside a fur or while inside a fur. You can work on your own program state, problem statements. Now, we have one more thing in Python where we have more things actually when you go for nested loops and when you use this control statements. Now, when I say in Python, we go sequential execution, right? Because a group of statements is called as suit. Generally, S-U-I-T is nothing but group of statements in Python is rated as a suit. Simple. So when I say group of statements in Python is generally related to suit because that's where we'll be having one more block when you try to use for with else. You can combine it. You can also combine it. So that's where we'll be learning now. So in this video, we'll be working on else suit because basically you can also write else along with for loop. It's fine, you can write because else is the case where after if condition, if you're, if the condition is not satisfied, you go for else if, if it is present, otherwise you directly go for else block. But you can also use else suit. Now we can, you can go for for with else or while with else, it's simple. So first let's see the syntax of else suit. How do you relate it? When you go for else suit, first let's write the syntax for for with else. You can go for directly giving for your variable in the sequence. That is same. Again, you write your number of statements here. And then come out, you write else block here. That's it. Because depending on your problem statement, you can relate anything. So it's up to user interest. How, do you, how does he try to use it? Whether you give go for while, it's the same thing. Instead of here for replace while block, you have the same else suit the same process. To make it easy to understand, let's work on a simple example because when you go for else suit, you are writing else, in, you are writing, you are trying to use else statement inside a for or a while loop. Else statement because that is nothing but else suit. Suit is nothing but group of statements. You are trying to use else statement along with for or while loop. That's it. Now let's work on that because you can also use break, continue. We'll be working on more examples, need not worry. Let's make it simple. So when you go for for and else, what is a simple program? Let's try to take for i in because always for for loop, you are using your membership operator for i in range of any number. Suppose if I take for i in range of five, I just wanted to print anything. Suppose I just wanted to print hello. I just wanted to print hello. What happens when you just execute this, you get hello printed five times because range of five is zero, one, two, three, four. So to print five times, you are just giving it. It's very simple. Why do you worry about it? Now what happens if I use else here? When I print else here, I just wanted to print one more thing. Goodbye. I just wanted to give goodbye. That's it. Because when I go for this approach, the statement after else is basically called as suit. So else suit is nothing but it always be executed irrespective of about the statements in the loop. That means it doesn't bother about whatever we are having here because when you execute this kind of block, you see the result, you are getting every print in hello for loop, you are getting goodbye also because else suit doesn't require whatever you are having above because it doesn't require it will always be executed irrespective of the statements in the loop, whatever it is. Whether you go for, for because you gave range of 5, right? Because range of 5, 5 times it should be printed. What if, if you give range of 0? When you give range of 0, do you have any number? No, right? So you get only goodbye because no for loop to be executed here. That's where you can easily understand how to use the else suit. It only depends upon the block of statements you are having above else block. Whether you have if condition or whether you are having elif or whether you are taking for loop or while loop, you can use else suit. It depends on the problem statement if you want to execute it particularly, right? So very simple, the else suit is always executed when you write programs after where you are trying to search once the element is done in the sequence, 
when the element is not found then what you try to do there you will be trying to use some kind of keywords like break continue pass assert which will be understanding very clearly but we should understand first how to use this for while if needed we can use else suit if it is not then you need not worry about it okay this is the simple syntax and this is simple example to work on it